Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to cover the solo player's wet dream of a class, the Shadow Hunter. It does literally everything, 1v1s, 3v3s, it's even really good in PvE, so we got a lot to talk about. Before we dive on in, today's video is sponsored by AoeAH.com. These guys have some of the lowest prices for in-game currency and items of practically any game you can imagine. Link is down in the description below. Now let's get into the video. Starting off with your stat points, always put 750 into Swiftness, 249 Domination, and then 1 Value Point into Crit. When it comes to tripod setup, up on your screen is a quote unquote meta build for the Shadow Hunter, but there is a range variation in which we run saws instead, so if you just want to copy and paste that, that's perfectly fine, but if you want to learn a little bit more about the skills and some of the combos, stick around. So on her auto attack animations, you can click a few times and then just do a basic stagger combo, but if you time her auto attacks out correctly, you can actually do a dash knockup. Now this is pretty slow, you can't really use this to start off a combo, but it can be used as a combo extender. So you do this by waiting for yourself to glow purple during the auto attack. As soon as you glow purple, just click the mouse button again and you'll be able to have an empowered dash that acts as a knockup. Okay, so our Q ability is Demon Vision. This is a ranged hard CC. Now this can be used to interrupt combos. And then this also kind of gives you time to think of how you want to approach your enemy to figure out what combo you want to use yourself. The next ability is our W Grind Chain. This can be used offensively and defensively. So you can use it offensively to set up your own combos to slow your opponent or you can use it to cut away. Next is our E which is Demonic Slash. You can use this to get in position to set up your combos or you can use it to dash out. Next is our R Piercing Thorn. This is a ranged knockup. It actually does a decent amount of damage. Just be careful. It is kind of a wonky cast animation and you don't have super armor during the actual animation itself. Next ability is our A Rising Claw. This is used as a short range knockup. It doesn't do a lot of damage and this is mostly used for a combo extender or to just start your combos out right in general. And you also do have super armor during the animation of the ability. Next is our S Sharpen Cut. I typically use this to gap close when I'm able to land my Demon Vision for a couple of really easy quick combos for you to get in and get out. Okay, so next is our D Demonic Clone. This has a short range knockup as well and you'll be pretty much using this in every combo that you have on the Shadow Hunter. Okay, so the next ability we're going to be talking about is our F. Now this is a flex spot depending on what you're doing. Now if you want to play range, you're going to be replacing this with Saws, which we'll go over in just a moment. But if you're in 3v3s or 1v1s, this is a really, really good combo finisher. So essentially it does massive damage to whoever is close to you. It pushes them away and uh, pushes you also away out of danger. So don't use this to initiate or during the middle of your combo because more than likely you're going to miss the rest of it. Okay, so let's talk about Cruel Cutter or the Saw ability. So this is a super long range spammable. I say spammable lightly, it does have a 17 second cooldown, so you don't want to spam this completely, but it is a ranged alternative in case you do not want to go for your combo finisher, which is completely viable. This offers up a lot of other opportunities because you can really catch people off guard with this, which can lead into some pretty nutty combos for you and your team. So when it comes to your ultimate, you'll be wanting to use your Gate of Eruption now. On initial hit, this causes a fear. And if you can keep your opponents staggered inside of this AoE, the ending effect to your ultimate actually has a knockup as well. So when it comes to your demon form, you can't really skill these abilities out in any way, shape, or form. You pretty much have six new abilities, which are all short range attacks. And we'll cover some of the combos here in the combos section uh, right now. Okay, so the first combo we'll be going over is using Thrust Impact. Now, this is very cookie cutter, very simple. So you'll leave off your demon vision to get the hard CC. Now, at this point in time, you kind of determine what combo you want to go in for but the one i typically go with is your s into your d and then as a combo finisher you use f it pushes them up and pushes you back as well just be careful when you use your s because you can actually overshoot your opponent it has a distance that it must travel you can't just go just a few feet with this ability so for example i just click here you're going to continue on because sometimes this will kind of over toss you past your opponent and that will actually cause you a lot more harm than good and put you in a really bad position so just be careful when you're using sharp and cut the next combo we're going to be going over is using saws or cruel cutter this is very low committal and again you can extend off these combos even more than what i showcase here that this is just a very basic example so you'll be using your saws into your demon vision into your gap closer your s and then into your demonic clone now just be careful again that you get the positioning correct on your sharpen cutter because it can toss you past whoever you're trying to focus. So while you're in your demon form, you actually do have a lot of little cookie cutter combos that you can do, but the basic one I want to go over is going to be your leaping blow into your blood massacre. So the leaping blow 
is a hard CC. And then it, when you use your Blood Massacre, it does take a little while to get this cast animation off. But assuming you hit them with your Leaping Blow, you're actually going to be able to get this combo off. No problem. And it does hellacious damage. Okay, so that about wraps it up for the video. If you found any information at all in this video helpful, please, I will appreciate a like and sub. And as always, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who helped support the channel. I could not be doing this without you guys. Hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.